everyone, como estas amigos? Welcome to another edition of Tips, Tricks, and Tool Techniques. I'm your host, Mr. Sanchez, and on behalf of windowcleaningresource.com, sit back and relax and prepare to learn. We're going to be going over one of the most important parts of window cleaning. Sometimes not really paid attention too much by a lot of window cleaners, but in my opinion, it is one of the most important parts of window cleaning. It is what separates the window washers and the professional window cleaners. And today we're going to be going over detailing methods and tricks. You want to start off by taking your surgical towel, your huck, um, your whatever you've got, whatever you use, maybe even scrim in the new future. You want to take it, you want to fold it across, fold it again. You want to take this last fold and fold it over. Now there's different methods. You may have a preferred method, but this is what I do, and I find that this works out for me fairly well. Fold it over the tip. You want to start with the sides. You don't want to give it too much force, but you want to give it just enough force where it can get any water, excess water off the sides off. Put it down a couple times. And good swipe across the top, do your sides, come down. Now when you're doing these parts, the sides where you can actually reach, I like to take it and I like to do it with one finger. I usually like to do it with my middle finger, my two fingers kind of supporting each other, a little bit more force. I'll take it, find a good dry spot, wrap it over once and hold it with this other hand and keep it out of the way so it doesn't get wet from you know falling on the sill or uh, you know something else but you know find a good dry spot take two fingers or one finger whatever one finger put it find a good find a good dry spot put it over there hold it with your other arm to keep the towel out of your way as you come down now once you've done that you're gonna have a whole bunch of water collected at the sill of the window and uh, what's really important, and I didn't actually used to do this, I used to let the water sit. And uh, as my mentor taught me, it's always good to be professional in every way possible, and that is including the sills of the window. And uh, so what you want to do is you want to take your little squeegee, and you're going to want to wipe across the top of the sill to get all the water off. And if you're doing the interior, you don't want to wipe all that water on the ground, so you want to take your sponge and your sponge will absorb all of that water and then when you come outside you can you know squeeze it out and uh, go back in and, and do the rest of the sills but that's good for the interior the, the sponge to so get all that water up because you always you want to clean everything about that window you want to do every detailing aspect to make sure that you're giving that window the best possible look all right so you're going to take your little squeegee it doesn't really matter how you do it just as long as you do do it you want to take it Run across. All the water is going to come down. You can see it dripping. Now what you can do is you can take your little squeegee and come across the side. Get all that water off. And usually you do the sills before you do these windows because a lot of times the water is going to drip onto that window. So then you're going to start all over. 